Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started ladies, please follow me on Instagram at Call Me Princess Nay. You can follow my femininity page at The Indica Woman and ladies, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so I can reach more feminine women across the globe. And ladies, I am aware that I took off a week from talking to each and every one of you, but um, I was just very busy, so I needed to get things in order, but I am back, and I also wanted to tell you, um, coming this new year in 2022, um, I'm going to do a little more things to my channel to like boost up my channel more. Um, I'm also going to have a Facebook group and a few more other things, um, but we'll talk about that later so today um i wanted to discuss the importance of noticing red flags early on in the dating stage now for me dating is completely different um in today's time and i love this new journey for myself now i the first red flag i want to say in dating would be a man who just refused to court me um i find courting to be very important before going out to public places with a man during the courting stage should consist of a lot of phone calls versus texting all day. Uh, a man who generally wants to get to know you will give you his full undivided attention by speaking to you on the phone directly versus texting you all day or clicking out of FaceTime or texting in your ear or any of that um, or talking to his boys in the background and things such like that. Um, when a guy is interested in a woman, he will give you his full attention and will apologize for any interruptions. I would also be cautious with um, men who ask you to send them certain type of pictures um, of your body or anything like that. Those usually are men who are grown boys and is looking at you in a sexual way versus in a more respectful way that you need to be looked at as a feminine woman. Um, you can dress up um as classy as you want but if a man is just a grown boy that's just what he's going to exhibit um and i i do find in normal conversation for feminine women with masculine men if they do respect you as a lady um and they want to see your growth they're going to come at you that way um so that's just a red flag in the beginning for me um, this is why if you meet a man from social media or possibly online dating, you should never indulge anything that consists of sexual topics or posting memes about sex um, or anything like that. I do not want anybody to say anything associated with me that isn't from of a ladylike, in my opinion. And I don't want to be seen as non-ladylike um, based on certain things on social media. That's why I don't indulge myself in certain things. Um, I just post what I post, which I feel is quite necessary. Um, even if you're a virgin, um, men or people in general should know how to respect your boundaries as a woman. And if you, I mean, not you, if he cannot learn how to have more respect for you, um, do casual conversation and according stage, then that's probably just a man that you should just let go. And I don't personally believe in ghosting men, but simply telling him that this isn't going to work is okay as well. The second red flag would be um, a man who insists on coming over too soon. Those normally are men who are trying to get out of spending money on you for a date or do anything that consists of actually dating. Um, this world is very scary, and so I don't believe in inviting strangers over or going to their house. Um, I find that to be very weird, mainly with somebody you just really just don't know. Um, I think it's a great way of setting boundaries to prevent a man from getting the wrong idea about what kind of woman you are. I hate when men get too touchy with women or anything on those lines, mainly if you happen to come over, if they say things like, why are you sitting so far or stuff like that. Like, um, I just want to prevent all of that at any cost. I also highly recommend a woman to not kiss on the first date, let alone any form of hug or touching. A soft smile and a simple thank you is good enough. I would also watch out for questions that consist of men asking things such as, how many men have you been with? Um, how many men have you dated in the past and things like such like that. That is just plain grown boy behavior and a complete turn off for me. Um, mainly if I'm getting to know a man in the 
early stages, um, that would be uh, just a red flag and I would have to then watch him. I strongly believe in people telling each other the bare minimum when it comes to dating. Um, plenty of women have overtalked themselves for years and that's how they have landed themselves in the worst type of relationships based on how they view men um, or their past and what they have put up from other men. Uh, some men will see that you have put up with certain things from other men and that's how they form opinion on you, how they feel they're going to treat you. Um, the third red flag I would be from a man who has refused to pay attention to you, anything that's going on in your life that you find to be important. Any man who I felt truly liked me always made sure to remember important things about myself and paid attention to what was important to me. Um, I know even sometimes women have gone through that where the man has not paid them any attention and they started paying more attention after the woman didn't want to talk to him no more. That's just simply grown boy behavior and you definitely should ignore it. Now, I do not mind a man speaking about who he is or his or things that he's passionate about um when it comes to a man and things about himself I just don't want a man who's like full of himself um and he tries to make everything about him I just don't like stuff like that um so ladies please pay attention to men who do not care to learn anything about you or things you are possibly passionate about some men can be very one-sided or controlling when it comes to being in their life mainly if they um, want you to be all about them and just don't consider anything necessary about you to be necessary for them to worry about. The fourth red flag would be um, to accept a date from a man um, who shows up late or has no explanation of why he's showing up late. I'm aware life happens, but calling or texting will fix a lot of these issues when it comes to being respectful of other people's time. Mainly when you do not um, make it... Um, mandatory to, to just say that, hey, I'm going to be late or stuff like that. Um, I respect the man to call me before he even texts me. Um, when you do finally make it to the actual date, it's bad etiquette to be on your phone as a man. So if you see a guy um, you're on a date with answering texts, phone calls, or FaceTime um, when you're on a date, just no, that's just somebody you probably shouldn't even invest more than the first date with. Um, and just know it's possible when a man is doing that, that he's speaking to other women or he has a wife at home um, or he has just no class and don't know how to be in a public setting. Um, and he and he probably just overly nervous, but most guys can control their nervousness even if they're out in public. Um, and ladies, um, definitely um, be sure that these type of red flags are something that you just don't overlook and that you keep a mental note of. I want a man who has class about himself and knows how to be respectful of the people's time, mainly when a woman he has interest in. He will not be um, a last-minute planner. Um, he will not set up dates to find out um, things about my finances or my credit score or bring his friends along to the date or judge you once you get to the date if you're wearing designer and call you names like big money or say you're too expensive for him. Um, he won't refuse to walk you to your car. Um... He won't spend the entire day speaking about um, how he basically hate women or has toxic relationships or any toxicity when it comes to his mother, let alone ask you to pay for the first date or go 50-50. Um, now, I cannot speak for all men and say they are all alike, but based off my dating history or other women's past dating history, I know we have all ran into that type of guy. But the fourth red flag, I would say... Um, well, to see how a man responds to the waiter. Uh, normally, I would never see a guy being rude at a restaurant, but if it does happen, that would definitely be a big, big red flag for me. I also noticed that some men do like to sometimes be boastful about how much money they have and thinking they can treat people any type of way because they have money. I'm not one of those women that's impressed by unnecessary rude behavior. Um, and thinking it's funny. I'm just not like that. In my opinion, when this happens, the man could possibly be crazy or he has mental issues that he refused to deal with. Overall, ladies, I will be cautious of men who have no sense of humor, lying about what they do for a living. Um, he refers to women as the B word. He wants to move too fast. He plot on women who has things and seeing how he can use women for things that she has. Um, 
And definitely also be cautious of men who um, may have been married before, but now he's separated, but not fully divorced. It's so many things that could be considered red flags that we have to stop ignoring in a dating stage in order to level up the way we deserve. But ladies, drop below some red flags that you hate or experience to help other women across the globe across the globe but that is all for today ladies remain classy and beautiful Aww.